I don't know. What are you in the mood for? Something scary. Something really scary. But it has to be actually terrifying, not just like fun scary. Mm -hmm. Scatterbrains. Exactly. I like zombies. Ah! Just, just hold on, Terror! Just hold on! Thank God you have so many guns. These guns are for terrorists, not my own neighbors. We just have to wait until the army gets here. That's right. They'll take care of us. Woman! Where are those sandwiches? <laughs> yeah, it's fun, but the underlying message is so conservative. Completely sexist. And it validates people who hoard guns and fear their neighbors. And tells you to rely on authority to survive. This movie sucks. You know what movie's really scary? What? Justified Infanticide. Yes! I, what is it? Adam, what happened? What? I ate the demon out. Good thing. Good thing. Yeah. You said the right thing. <laughs> yeah, it's really scary, but it avoids rational explanations. That completely glorifies superstitious crazy people. Mm -hmm. But what horror movie doesn't? I mean, I wish there was a horror movie out there that, you know, had a strong female protagonist that, you know, didn't support conservative message. Right, right, and it had our kind of message and our kind of yeah. values. And right, and didn't glorify hey, 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 irrationality. Hey, guys, what is this? Human resources. When a young woman takes a job as an executive assistant, she discovers that the skyscraper she works in is haunted by victims of the corporation's cutthroat pursuit of profit. Unable to ignore injustices embodied by the disembodied, she sets out to reveal the truth and stop her bosses, by any means necessary. Wow, this, this sounds like exactly what we're looking for. It sounds amazing. Yeah. Put it in. Okay. It hasn't been made yet. Why not? I'm sure there's a group of amazing people ready to make it right now. They probably need to raise some more money. I I'd give them money. Me too. I bet if enough of us even just gave 10 or $20, it can make a real difference. Human Resources uses a very old school ghost story template and modernizes it, kind of gives it a fresh twist. Horror as a genre is very political, especially ghost stories, because ghost stories are about justice. What we're trying to do is take that traditional concept of a ghost story and kind of twist it a bit. Whereas the traditional story is about justice for an individual or about individual justice, our film is about achieving social justice. One of the great things about ghost stories is that despite how it may at first seem and despite, you know, how scary they are, the ghosts aren't the bad guys. They're the victims. A really important part of a successful horror film is that everyone know exactly who the enemy is. In Human Resources, the bad guy is a corporation. We live in a time where big banks, big corporations, and big business have crashed our economy, destroyed our environment, and stolen our tax dollars while continuing to exploit us. Human Resources is a fun, scary horror film that taps into the real righteous anger in our society. Which is why we have to make this film right now. It's why it's so timely and so appropriate to our, our current situation when more and more people are becoming aware of who the real bad guys are. Part of the human resources story is its underlying deliberate message. But the failure of most films which have underlying deliberate messages is that they beat their audiences over the head with them. Our main priority in making human resources is to make a film that entertains people. We have an amazing team of folks who have worked in film and theater for decades. Folks who worked in special effects, on set design, on screenwriting, on cinematography, teamed 
with folks who actually come out of years of activism and organizing. And that combination, I think, makes for a really strong fusion of people involved because we have real life experience backing up a lot of the story and the ideas and the emotion, but we also have the people with the technical expertise to sort of get it done. So we're all really excited to start filming human resources. We have a killer cast, we have locations set, we've cast our faces to create the bases for these prosthetic masks which we're going to use on the ghost creatures. We have an excellent script. But we need your help. 